Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Lou. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> in this video, I'm not going to bore you with space information, but instead I just want you to go on a journey with me and appreciate how empty our universe is. So let's begin. Before we go off into space, let us start at our smallest scales. Quarks and leptons are our smallest subatomic particles. Well, if you're a particle physicist, you might even argue that the point like prion is the true smallest thing, but we don't have any evidence for that. So let's stick with quarks and leptons. Anyway, quarks, up, down, top, bottom, strange and charm and leptons, electrons, muons, and tauons, and their respective neutrinos, are the building blocks of our universe. Quarks make up hadrons, like the proton, which is made up of two up quarks and a down quark, and the neutron, which is made up of an up quark and two down quarks. Experiments have shown that quarks are no larger than one ten thousandths of the size of a proton. This means that hadrons, like protons and neutrons, are mostly empty space. Now atoms, as you may all be familiar with, are made up of a proton and neutron cores with orbiting electrons. The smallest atom, the hydrogen consists of a proton and an electron. It's just 120 picometers in diameter, or 1.2 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. A proton is 1.5 femtometers in size, or 1.5 times 10 to the minus 15 meters. And then an electron is a thousand times smaller. This means that these subatomic particles are 100,000 times smaller, again, making atoms 99.9999999% empty space. Now, atoms and molecules make up everything around us, everything we see and touch, and even make up us. But how many atoms are there in a grain of sand? Sand is made up of mostly silicon dioxide molecules. That is one silicon to two oxygen atoms. Inside a typical grain of sand, one millimeter in size, there are approximately 10 to the 19 molecules. Given that silicon has a size of 222 picometers and oxygen has a size of about 300 picometers, then we expect even a solid grain of sand to be approximately 50% empty space. This seems extremely strange that a solid could be mostly empty space but the air that we breathe here on Earth is even more empty. Whilst we often say that air is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% of other stuff like water vapor and carbon dioxide, the truth is air is mostly empty space. If you were to condense a container of air into a solid, you would end up with just 1% of its original volume. It's 99% empty space between all of those molecules. And we don't notice it because the molecules are moving about so quickly. One common misconception is how close our planets are in our solar system. They're often pictured together in a straight line like this. They only do this so that they can fit them all into one single image. If everything was drawn to scale, it would look more like this. The sun is the largest thing in our solar system. It's so large that you could easily fit all of the planets inside of it. If we were to take the orbit of Pluto as the edge of our solar system, then the radius of our solar system is a thousand times larger than the radius of our sun. And even though it has been established that the vacuum of space isn't actually a vacuum, it's not devoid of all matter, in our solar system, one centimeter cubed of space contains an average of five atoms. Despite this, the solar system is over 99% empty space. It's often said that there are more atoms in a grain of sand than there are stars in our observable universe. In our galaxy alone, there are estimated to be over 100,000 million stars, each of these a solar system and separated by huge distances. Our next closest neighbor solar system, Alpha Centauri, is 4.35 light years from Earth. It takes light 4.35 years to travel the 40 trillion kilometers to Earth. Whilst even this is technically not a vacuum, 
scientists believe that this interstellar medium that separates the two solar systems is even less dense than the space between our planets, with just one atom per cubic centimeter of space. No one knows how many galaxies there are in our universe, but from our deepest observations, we believe that there are at least a hundred billion galaxies in our observable universe. Our local galaxy group consists of at least 80 galaxies, with our next nearest galaxy being the Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy at 25,000 light years away from us. But the galaxy group itself spans 10 million light years across, so it really is mostly empty space between those galaxies. Galaxies that live outside of groups and outside of clusters are even further apart. Our local galaxy group belongs to the Laniakea supercluster with over 300 clusters and groups spanning 520 million light years across. I could go on and on and on, but I think you get the idea. Most of our universe, regardless what scale we look at, is empty space. We are nothing. The universe is completely empty. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.